Four Mile Run stream. How many people have visited Four Mile Run before? Um, 50 million times. My house is yeah. yeah, my house is. Today, you guys are going to be learning about Four Mile Run stream, and you're going to have three stations to learn about the pollution and the water quality and different things that people can do to make the water better. One of the things that we do with the county is we have a volunteer program where people like yourselves and um, other folks can go out and get trained and do stream monitoring. Have you guys ever heard of stream monitoring? You said you did a little bit at the outdoor lab. Yeah, we just saw that we tried to get little bugs. Okay, well that's what that's what we call stream monitoring. And do you guys remember why you might want to look at the critters in the stream? Yeah, you can use these, what they call them, um, you can use them as indicators of water quality. And like this first group here, we have some stoneflies, mayflies, caddisflies, this one's called a water penny, and uh, some beetles. These ones are all very sensitive to pollution. So if they're in your stream um, and you have any pollution or any changes that, you know, for the habitat that get in there, yeah, they'll die or they'll, you know, kind of move somewhere else. They, they don't really like that. So hopefully you would be able to find all these different kind of critters near your stream because that means that there's a good biodiversity. Have you guys had heard that word before? Mm -hmm. Biodiversity? Yeah. So that means there's lots of different kinds of organisms. And because if you just, we were at a site yesterday and we found a whole bunch of crayfish, but not a lot of other things. And so that really isn't, you know, the, the healthiest kind of situation because you've only got one type of organism that's, that's doing really well there. So does anybody want to try the boots? Now what you need to do is you need to uh, do the scrubbing and stuff for about a minute or so um, to get a chance to catch anything. So if you just do it real quick. Now I can't quite reach, but if you guys want to reach down here and you can, can just... I do it with my hand? Yep. Mm -hmm. Just be careful. Now just wipe the rocks off so that if you want anything to, to flow into here. Yeah, so do it underwater. That's good. That's good. Okay, now turn it over. There you go. And then put it down flat on... There's something in there. Mm hmm. See that little thing? In the middle there? Yeah. Yeah, that could be something. Well, that's why we've got some microscopes back there. So we can, can I use it? Mm hmm. Yeah, I'll, I can come over and show you how to do it in a second. First, you use your eyes. You look for something swimming or moving in the tub. And when you see something, you pinch your eyedropper like this. You put it down right next to it and then you suck it up. Now you're probably gonna have to get some more water. Oh, there you go. Okay, now it's out. Looks like a string or something. But does it have legs, Gabby? Let me see what. Is it swimming around? Yeah, it's kind of caught up in some kind of filth. Look at the water penny. What it says. Really tiny. Water penny. Saucer shaped body with a raised bump on one side. Okay, if you guys can put your eyedroppers down and look up at me really quick, we're just gonna finish up. Okay, you guys all want to look up at me. So what kind of things did we find? We, we only had a few minutes to do some samplings today, but what did we find in our samples? Some flatworms. Some flatworms. We found a snail over mm -hmm. here, but we weren't really finding all the various critters. But what do you think that means about the water quality here in Four Mile Run? That it's not as good, not that great. That it's, well, that maybe there's some, some types of pollutants and things getting in there. What, what kind of pollution do you think could be oh, getting into Four Mile Run? There's a Coke can over there. Well, there's a 7 Up can over there and there's a Diet Coke can over so there. So he's talking about litter. So litter could be a problem. Now she so, mentioned lead. Now lead was a, was a concern in our drinking water, but this is not the same as our drinking water. Um, our drinking water, do you guys actually know where your drinking water comes from when you turn yeah, the faucet the on? From here. Which stream it comes from? It doesn't come from Four Mile Run, but it comes from another big, Potomac. the Potomac River. That's right. And Four Mile Run flows into the Potomac River. Um, so what other kinds of pollution might be affecting Four Mile Run? Do you think that the runoff that comes off that parking lot could affect the stream? Do you think that that would be good or bad or bad? bad. And what, what things might get on a parking lot? Oil. Oil and grease. And how about just all the water that lands on there is going to flow into the stream and can cause erosion and things like that for the stream. So in a, in a more urban area like Arlington, there's lots we have to think about. <laughs> You are on a mission. That's a very important mission. It's a mission to undo the damage that has been done to our environment. And you and many people of, uh, of your age and other schools that are aware of what has happened to our environment are going to accomplish this mission because you owe it to your children. When your parents, you want them to be able to use clean water and breathe clean air. 
don't you? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And unless we do something about it, they're not going to be able to. And as we grow in population, we build more houses and we build more shopping centers and we drive more cars and we fertilize more lawns, all of the pollution that that's generating is going into our streams. And uh, at some point, it's going to be enough from all that runoff that it's going to start poisoning and killing life and streams are going to be dead zones. This water isn't fit to drink. You can't drink the water. And your mission is to make it clear enough and safe enough that you can drink it. But the most important stuff we can do is to get people like you to figure out what's wrong and to fix it for when you have kids, okay? Thanks very much.